blockchain is the future. Well, it's here, and you guys are showing a product that fits in the living room. Tell us how you can pay for your TV. Who wants to start? Sure. So if you have seen uh, Silicon Valley show, so we are trying to build the real Piper net, the real Pied Piper, you know. So the future that we believe in is completely going to be decentralized. With these kind of boxes and TVs in enough homes, we can create decentralized AWS kind of services. So right now we have tied up with few animation studios and few blockchains. So currently it mines blockchains like Ether, Monero, and so your TV pays for itself. And in the future, uh, you can buy services like Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, and you can also exchange your compute services or compute power with animation studios, machine learning, model training, all of that completely Play through device. this box. So it's a plug and play device. You just connect this with your TV via an HDMI cable and you start making money. So, yeah. And, and from, uh, let's talk to that distributed uh, AWS type approach. Really, you're talking about a distributed data center. Yes. And so you anticipate other people's files residing in a distributed manner, is that right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's the future and that's how it's going to be. So uh, that's why we are, we are using general purpose GPUs instead of ASICs, because ASICs are designed particularly for few coins. We don't want to restrict ourselves to only blockchain. Uh, this thing starts with blockchain, <coughs> but it, it will finally go towards distributed ledger, distributed computing. And so that gives you the uh, flexibility for any kind of file then, right? Exactly. Yes. exactly. And so this is a Kickstarter project you guys have been working on a couple years, right? <laughs> it's been six months now, and oh, this, this, is the third, this is the third <laughs> prototype, yeah. and yeah, that, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be doing a Kickstarter maybe soon. soon. Okay. Yeah, soon. And, then, um, and then you get into production, how are you going to go to market? Yeah, so the plan here is to get few early backers and raise capital, launch uh, using that capital, create a subscription plan for our early backers, yeah. and then get into mass production. And the idea is that, uh, in, in a sense, it's an investment uh, for a, a user, they're going to pay that subscription, but then presumably they'll get it back in Bitmine uh, yeah, coin. Exactly. Almost three times. So just, just to quote an example, uh, you might end up paying $50 per month, but you might get, end up earning $150 per month. So it's a good ROI, I think, for the con consumers. Now, do you have to put a 50 amp circuit though, just for this, or what about the cost of electricity? Yeah, that would be uh, that would vary actually, depending on which area or which state you are in, or maybe if you're using solar. So it can vary from $25 per month to $35 per month. Yeah, but so even with that in there, you're still anticipating someone to be able to make money on this. So from a market perspective, what's kind of that critical mass where you can start to actually use this as a distributed data center? Around 50,000 uh, 50, units uh, all across North America would really help us in creating a, de a decentralized computational network. And are you, uh, what about bandwidth wise? What sort of bandwidth are you taking? Uh, yes. Uh, so. Bandwidth as in like the Wi-Fi? Uh, no, bandwidth back to the uh, internet. I mean, how much do you need? A megabit? 10 megabits? Uh, maximum um, five, 5 megabits, five yeah. Okay. yeah. So you're not really taxing the broadband too yeah. much? Exactly. And so from a uh, you know actual marketing perspective, you're going to have a Kickstarter type approach and people will back it there. <laughs> but how do you move it beyond that? Are you going to work with service providers or what's your thoughts? Yeah, so that's what we are looking for. Uh, we do want to you know connect with uh, at and Verizon, and we want to create a package model. We you pay, uh, we, uh, f for example, you buy a smartphone today with a package deal from at and or T-Mobile. So that's what you want to do with this. So you, you pay around $60, $65. You get internet for your entire home, your inter uh, and you start, uh, you get the product itself. So that's the kind of model we want to you know, bring in. And going back to that TV show, I mean, once you're doing this, and once you're in the distributed uh, blockchain type approach, you could start to do advertising, and you can start to control your own uh, destiny as far as your uh, private uh, information, right? Exactly. Yes, definitely. That's the best part of it. That you can, you have full control over the information of yours, and uh, there's there, there's no other com a company or entity controlling your data. And uh, you know. I understand you have a background in particle physics, so so how do you go from particle physics to this? So uh, during my research days at CERN and Atomic Energy Commission in France, I realized that a lot of people were working on parallel computing and that's pretty <laughs> normal for them. So I realized once it's, a lot of scientific institu institutions use parallel computing, you know? So what I realized was that w when this is brought up to scale, it could really change the world. Now the thing is, it was not possible without blockchain. Blockchain helps us in 
incentivizing people for for this thing. So that's where the idea came up. And I suppose the last thing is reliable bandwidth is important too, right? Yeah, definitely. But I think it's it's normalized now. Yeah, almost everywhere. Excellent. Well, I appreciate your time, and I wish you guys luck. Thank, Thank you. Thanks Thank for coming by.